Well, praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna make this quick. All right, short. You know, I was pretty much just meditating. All right, um, you know, on the Revelation, the 21st chapter. All right, speaking about the um, the new heaven and the new earth. Okay, and how the Most High is gonna wipe away all tears from our eyes. You know, and how you know we're we're finally gonna get that kingdom, man. Okay, and thinking about it, we're 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 really all right in exciting times. Okay, because we understand that this is not this is not we understand this is more than 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 it looks like. You know, even leading up to the chip, the hour of temptation, all those different times, the martial law troops. Okay, which you know they just said that they're deploying. All right, troops to um to to guard the White House. All right. But even leading up to then is going to be exciting, man. Okay? Because pursuant to Isaiah uh, 65 and 13, the Most High is going to exempt his elect from the judgment of the two-thirds. All right? He, and and as, as people are dying and going through hardships, our faith is going to be increasing. All right? Each day, each more, the more the prophecies get fulfilled, all right, the closer and closer we get to the victory. Okay? The closer and closer we get to a new life. All right? <laughs> you know? You 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 you're not going to have to to hit, you know, a certain age in this kingdom, man. All right? Because this place is going down. The most high is finally taking this place down. Literally everything we've been talking about, everything we've been meditating on, everything we've been praying to the to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai to cause to happen is starting to happen, man. All right? And we got only a few more prophecies to go and we can finally get out of here. We can finally be at rest. No more waking up having to do things. You know, you wake up and uh, you have to do this. You have to go to work. You have to, you know, worry about no more worrying. All right. No more, no more troublesome thoughts. We're going to be made perfect, man. All right, even 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 before we get up in them chariots, man, the Lord is gonna provide for us and, and protect us, comfort us, protect, uh, uh, provide for us so much that we're gonna be rejoicing. And think about that. In the midst of all hell breaking loose, we're gonna be rejoicing like the, uh, the 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 three holy children. All right, the three holy children, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. All right, which were their Babylonian names. They were in the midst of adversity. They were rejoicing. Okay, they were in the midst of a, of a burning, uh, a, a, a hot, extremely hot furnace, and they were rejoicing. Why were they rejoicing for joy of heart? Like it says in Isaiah 65, and uh, I believe the 13th verse. Okay, they were rejoicing for joy of heart because the Most High delivered them to where the the the, the, the 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 power of the fire had no effect on them. Okay, so we're not in times to be scared or times to be getting worried. No, we're in the times. To where the most high is going to deliver us we're in the times of wisdom of solomon the fifth chapter okay then shall they stand in uh, uh then shall he stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him all right and i'm quoting these precepts okay then shall he stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him people are finally going to see ezekiel 33 and 33 all right when this comes to pass all right lo it will come then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. See, that's when people are going to realize what, what, what we've been saying the whole time. But we're not going to have to worry. All right. We're going to be able to tell people that we told them so from, from the boat that's not sinking. As they look at us and they say, damn, I should have listened from the boat that is sinking. All right. The Most High gave us the spirit to jump ship way before the, 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 the ship even crashed. Okay. Now, what I'll do is I'll read Revelation, all right, the 21st chapter. And uh, like I said, it's not going to be a long video. Just a quick exhortation, man, because look, we're in the time to be rejoicing. All right. We've been doing what we have to be doing. We've been doing what we're supposed to be doing. We've been serving Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And before I read Revelation, let me get this. Um, Hebrews chapter 6. Okay, the Most High is an honest man. Yahweh Shai is an honest man. They, they, they're not pe uh, spirits that they should lie. Okay. Um, 
This is Hebrews 6 and 10. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Each time you went out there and you and you prophesied, man, each time you did your videos, each time you even spoke to somebody and, and, and edified them. Okay, guess what? The Most High, it was, was uh, uh, he's watching that, man. See, I was laying here meditating, you know, and I was getting, I was getting excited in the spirit. And in the spirit, the thought came into my mind. Well, why not? Why not do a video on it and 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 get other brothers and sisters, all right, in that same uh, uh, spirit of excitement, all right, and exhort them, all right. That way, you do you do the good works even more, okay. That you know the saying goes, "Misery loves co uh, company," all right. Well, over here, when we rejoice, you know, it's, it's when you when you when your faith when your faith is getting built up, all right, that's good. So you can build up others others' faith. All right, because we're we're one body, okay. It's not a it's not a one man thing. It's not a single person thing. We're one body. All right. Now, um, let me continue reading. It says, "For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward His name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister." See, so guess what? The Most High is going to reward us because we've ministered to the saints, man. That's why it's important to do the works. The Lord will bless us for it, man. Trust and believe that in the time of famine, we're going to eat. In the time of destruction, it's not going to touch us. Other people are dying and scared. We're going to be rejoicing because the Lord is going to have a hedge of protection over us. Okay? Yahweh Shai is going to come back and he's going to deliver us. We're going to get new bodies. We're going to be made perfect. All right? No more worrying. No more crying. No more sorrow. None of that. All right, the Lord is going to put us in the category as the elite of the elite. Okay. Um, verse 11. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. All right. So this is why, look, we're at the end, man. Now is the time to give it your all. Okay. So now let me read this uh, Revelation 21. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. Okay? So as it tells you in the Apocrypha, I believe it's 2nd Ezra, the 6th chapter, all right, about Jake, uh, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. That, that means that this world, this age, all right, where we, we have to wear two-piece suits and, you know, jobs require you to shave your beard or, you know, look, look like a heathen. All right, just to just to make it in this society or get in a good position, get a, a damn foothold in this wicked kingdom. Guess what? That's all going to be done away with, man. The wicked way that things are done in this kingdom is going to be gone, like it never never existed. All right, and we're, look, imagine waking up instead of waking up to, to gunshots and people screaming or cars and the projects. You wake up to a beautiful scenery, and you know that that's that's yours. You know. Gardens that, that that stretch miles wide, nature, you know. You look up in the sky, you see different color chariots, different brothers and sisters going places, flying. You know, your children are safe. All right, that's something that we're looking forward to, man. That's why we get excited when we see these prophecies come into pass, because we know these are the last few prophecies before we get eternal life. I'm talking about joy everlasting, man. I'm talking about. You, you're going to be immortal, and that's going to give you enough time to enjoy yourself, man. No such thing as boredom, all right? No such thing as pain, as we're going to read here. That's what's coming to us, man, because all, all of our existence, we've been suffering. Ever since Adam went off, we've been suffering. Captivity after captivity after captivity. Yes, Solomon had 40 years of peace, but how long did that last? All right? And we've gone through bitter captivities, man, always being on the bottom. To where now you look at the condition of our people and it's sad, it's shameful. But no more, the Lord is going to turn that around. The scriptures say that it's going to make the Lord happy to make us happy. So can you imagine what level he's going to put us on, man? The glow we're going to have, the knowledge we're going to have. We're going to do everything balanced and it's going to come naturally to us, man. Verse 2, And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the Most High out of heaven prepared as a bride adorned for her husband and that's the elect okay after the lord takes up his elect and changes our bodies he's gonna bring us back down man 
and we're going to take over this kingdom and bring righteousness. Okay? Bring peace. Have finally be at rest. Okay? Sleep with a sound mind. Uh, verse 3, And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and the Most High himself shall be with them and be their God. You're going to feel the presence of the Most High and Yahweh Shai. Okay? With us. You're going to know that everything you do, you don't even have to worry about whether you went off and is the Most High about to punish you and, you know, all these different things. No. None of that, man. This is going to be our lives forever. It says, verse 4, And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. All right? And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain. So nothing is going to make us, all right, sorrowful or feel pain physically or emotionally. All right? For the former things that passed away. Those are all going to be former things. All right? Things we won't have to worry about. No nightmares. All right? No, no wicked thoughts. No demons plaguing you. None of that. All right? Verse 5, I'll finish it off here. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. The earth is going to become a paradise again. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And that's why we believe in them wholeheartedly, man. And that's why we are excited as to what's going on in the world. Because the Lord is going to protect us through it. And then he's going to reward us. Okay? So the scriptures say that he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. It also says, give all diligence to make your calling and election sure. If you want to enjoy these riches to the fullest, give all diligence to make your calling and election sure. All right. So Lord willing, that was, that was exhorting and edifying to the elect. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakha, Kodash. Until next time, Shalom.